Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your buddy Hoppy. And Ms. Jersey. And we are back with another episode of You Guessed It, It's All Bullshit. But today is a very special episode. So today I'm going to turn the reins over to Miss Jersey because she is the one who got this started for us. So, Miss Jersey, if you would please and introduce who we have All here right. today with us. Well, if you guys don't notice, we have two guests today. Two very special guests. Yes. These lovely women are Kathy from Most Homemade Dog Food. Mm -hmm. And then we have Erica from Unicorn Rescue and Training. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get to Erica in a minute. We're gonna do Kathy first. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. I'm we're in the hot seat. You're ready. on. Bring okay. it. All right. <laughs> so why don't you start by telling us first, like, what made you start it? Yeah. We started our business just seven years ago this month because we rescued a dog who would eat nothing, uh -huh. literally eat nothing. So we started buying dog treats from a local store. Um, found that the prices were really, really high, and they were shelf stable, which means they were full of preservatives and, and ick. So my wife, Maria, said, let's start baking. So she started making dog treats, gave them away to friends, and that's the rest, that's, the, that's history now. It's like, that's exactly what we did. And we still do it seven years later. We have, we have recipes that we follow. Um, we, have, um, we have had our CBD dog treats, which is what we're pretty much known, well known for, mm -hmm. um, tested. The dough has been tested, so it's all certified. Um, we're licensed, we're insured, we're permitted, so that everything is legitimate and above board. And thankfully, we have wonderful neighbors who don't care about the steady stream of people pulling up in front of our house <laughs> to pick up their dog treats. I remember the first time I went and got dog treats from her. I didn't know you weren't supposed to ring the doorbell. Oh, yeah, don't ever ring the doorbell. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. thing, never do that. Never don't, don't, don't ring the doorbell. Do don't, don't ring, ring, ring the doorbell. doorbell. Yeah, we have a sign that says, hey, ring the doorbell and shit's gonna happen. <laughs> Literally, right? <laughs> Literally, yeah. I don't think I saw that. Yeah, nobody. And there's also a doorbell sign that says, um, "You don't need to ring the doorbell. The dogs know you're here," or something like that. And ring the doorbell. We watch the people on the camera. They're like, read the sign, ding dong, and then they, I'm like, seriously? Oh yeah. I didn't after read, reading it. Yeah, right? you didn't read it first. I didn't read it. I just kind of walked up and was like, boop. And yeah. Then I just sat there like, yeah. So, don't ring the doorbell. What we do is we make healthy, natural treats. There's no preservatives, there's no salt, there's no um, added oils or anything like that. We use real products that you and all four of us could mm -hmm. actually eat flour, cheese, bacon, molasses, cinnamon, turmeric, um, oats, all kinds of flours and stuff. Um, in the summertime, we do make frozen treats. Um, and they're a lot of fun for the dogs. We make popsicles and we make frosty paws. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they're all natural. They're made out of fresh fruit that we, we get. It's not frozen fruit, it's fresh fruit. We have blueberry, we have strawberry, we have carob chip with our homemade peanut butter. That's another big thing about what we do. What is carob chip? Carob chip is co it's like a chocolate chip, okay. but without the cocoa. Oh, Therefore, okay. it's safe for animals to consume. It's all confirmed by the ASPCA as being a um, natural mm -hmm. antioxidant for dogs. Uh, it's really it's good for them. I've tasted the whole chip. No, they're very bitter, and I like a dark chocolate. But this tastes your like puts hair on your chest. Oh, it's oh, okay. bad. But no. the dogs see it as chocolate. My dogs love your treats. Thank you. I mean, I walk in the door and I got the treats, and I'm like like a football player with Bailey. I'm like kind of like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, as soon as I walk in the door, she's like yeah. trying to. Boom. Yeah. The little That's one. Everyone she's too small to get up there, so. People, she can't get up. people tell us all the time that they cannot go into their kitchen or to the refrigerator or freezer without turning around and having a dog waiting for them. Mm -hmm. Because our treats, because they're preservative free, they require refrigeration. Okay. Um, that's why you don't see them sold in, in stores, you know, big box stores, because they're not shelf stable. And we re like we sell in two, um, two grooming shops, Paul's on Route 33 and Kayla's Pretty Paul's in Lawrenceville. And then a store in Medford sells our CBD treats. We bag them and tag them as our product, but they sell them. They pay us for the treats, and then they sell them for whatever they sell them for. Oh, okay. Um, and that store is run by all mentally and physically and emotionally disabled employees. Um, so it's really cool to be able to sort of give back. We give them a really good price. They can upsell it and make some profit off of it, which is great. That's wonderful. Yeah, That's it's, great. Yeah. And they believe in us, and that's half the battle. Sort of dog things is how I met this woman. <laughs> My best friend, Erica, for like, what, like 
eight years now, probably. Pretty we've much been that's right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ironically, yeah. we're both just crazy dog women. Nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of crazy dog people in this world, though. Yes. That is no lie. I don't know why at all. Yeah, we've seen it firsthand. Yep, all of us in this room are guilty. Yep. Yep. We are guilty. So the treats, we have a menu. Um, the beautiful part of what we do is if you say to me, like we have a customer whose dog's allergic to cinnamon. Mm. So we make sure before she buys any treats, we confirm with her that they're cinnamon free. We have people whose dogs can't eat ch uh, chicken. They have, um, you know, a lot of dogs have allergic reactions to chicken. They itch all over. Um, and then we, we customize it. We, we make our own peanut butter, okay? So it's, it's preservative free, it's not, it has no xylitol. Oh, wow. For folks, check your peanut butter before you give it to your dogs because xylitol oh. could shut their kidneys down and kill them. So it's very, very, very important to read the labels. That's what we do. That's why people pay us because we read and we research and we do all the work so that they don't have to, you know, and their dog can still benefit from it. Yeah, I, I know my Bailey's a she's a trash can. <laughs> a lot of people's dogs are a lot of we have people who, whose dogs will eat anything, and then we have the people who say, my dog is very picky and they won't eat these, and then they reach back out and they're like, holy crap. My dog loves these treats. I go, because they are what they say. There's bacon cheddar balls are bacon, cheddar cheese, and white flour. That is it. Doesn't you know, the more basic, right? And when you warm those bacon balls up, oh. which we recommend, like a couple of seconds in the in the microwave, check them always, you know, make sure they're not blazing hot inside. But uh, if the cheese and bacon comes out, and the dogs, we eat with our eyes first. Dogs eat with their nose first. So let them smell it. And let them enjoy it. I know my dogs eat. <laughs> I was going to say. Your dogs are going to today. <laughs> Bos yeah, Bosco, he's one of those, if he sees it. Yeah. You know. And we brought you um, bacon cheddar balls. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Warm it up. They're frozen right now. So what people do when they come to pick up their orders is they pull up, they go to the, there's a freezer in our carport. As you know, you don't know this, but you might in the future open the freezer, either pay cash when you pick up, Venmo, you know, whenever. That's perfect. And you go on your day. Okay. Unless you're me. And then you hang out. Yeah. <laughs> or you ring a doorbell when you're not supposed to. Yeah. And completely And then we talk about you. you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Walk right past the freezer. Hey, listen. If anybody's interested, they can reach out to myself. They can email us at treats at AOL.com. Um, or they can reach out through Facebook. We're Most Homemade Dog Treats. Um, we have our Facebook page. You can messenger us there. If you have questions or concerns and you want to change a recipe around and figure dogs eat, we can do it. Okay. Interesting. That's wonderful. There you go. Wow, that's Ooh. great. There we have it. Okay. All in the, uh, all in the bark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you got my wheels turning now about the whole thing with peanut butter because yes. we put... Bosco's treats in Kong's uh -huh. because we're trying to slow him down right. because he eats like he's going to the chair. Right. I have and I'll put so either peanut butter or we use just non-flavored yogurt. Yep. But now you said that about the peanut butter. Even though we use the all-natural stuff, I yes. want to go back and yes. reference that. Xylitol so. is what's in sugar-free gum. Ah. And if sugar-free, you should never make sure, make sure your dogs never get to anything sugar-free because the xylitol will kill them. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we know. See that? And you know too. Today was not a waste. <laughs> Never is. No. 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 And thank you for bringing that to our and the, Just so everybody knows, the business, Most Homemade Dog Treats, is owned by myself and my wife, Maria Valero. Um, we both, she does all the labor, all the research and development. I sort of just promote it and bake every so often. So <laughs> she does the hard work. Well, we're glad to have people like you around to do wonderful yes. things like this. So thank you for what you guys do. Where's Maria? She is home with the dogs. We just got done baking this morning, so we bake to order. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are baking days. So oh, okay. yeah, so jump in the shower. And get over here. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did too. My hair's still wet. <laughs> we're still wet. Right well, we're all on shower time. See, I did. You did. You did. Yeah. yeah. Why? Well, I cut the grass this morning. Ah. Wow. Yard work. I had to Filling holes that someone decided to start doing. Who you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, he's going to put me in one of them. Yeah, oh right. my God. Six feet, Dad. Here we go. Yeah, I know. My wife said he started digging. I said, oh, okay. So I went, when I came home, I saw that he out real quick. And I'm like, where? And I looked down. And went, mm. I'm looking in there. I'm going, is that China? Yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, great. Walking through my new bed and just step right into the hole. Well, that's funny you said. That's how Marie broke around. Hey. Oh. Is it really? No way. Not anymore. Oh, oh yeah. He just went. Mm. We got moles. Oh, yeah. So he must have he picked up. He can hear them. He must have, uh, yeah. He can hear them. Is that, okay. Yep, yep. Because I've seen, um, like, have you ever looked at a robin when they're looking for a worm? They're out there and they hop, they hop, and then they go like this. They tilt their head. They can hear it. They can hear the worms underground. Just the dogs have great hearing. They can hear under. Oh, he's superb. Yeah. So, yeah, he I knows when it. I start my car from work and I'm on my way home, he's at the front door. Yep, they know. Yeah, that's amazing. Our dogs really can be sound asleep, and they know it's seven o'clock. They're like, "Bing, time for treats." Yeah, he he has a system, and it, it's working. Mm -hmm. You know, the quarter to five is a little much, but yeah, it's just give him a couple of those CBD bacon balls tonight before you go to bed. Oh. You might get to sleep till six. All right. Well, there you go. Well, he goes to the brewery every You're Tuesday night, oh, so yes. when we come home, okay. that'll be that'll yep. be a midnight snack, yes. a little nine o'clock snack. There you so. go. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then tomorrow you're gonna to be like, yeah, I need some of those treats for next week. For me and him. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just it, it's always good to have people like you and what you guys do. I mean, it's just amazing, you know. And every time we get a chance to do something like this, it's always great. This way, it just provides spreads yeah. that public. It just spreads the awareness. Absolutely. Right? So it's just it's really cool. Thanks so. for having us. No, thank you yeah, for you coming. Yeah, no problem. All right, but so. it's the next one. Right. All right, guys. Remember, most homemade dog treats. Make sure you look them up. Order some treats for the babies. Take care of yourselves, and please remember, but at the kindness goes a long way. And here's living proof right here. We'll talk to everybody soon. Have a great day. Bye. See ya.